Hey there everyone, Hanya here. Welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Last episode we got our first motive in the form of, guess what, our memories. So, carrying on from there, obviously, and uh, yeah, let's get going. I presume he's the kind of person who would not come even if we summoned him. That's fine. I guess it can't be helped. We should just talk among, among ourselves. Someone can fill him in later. Talk? What are we going to talk about? Rejoice. Rejoice. I have decided to throw a party tonight. Huh? <laughs> a p party? That's right. A huge party that will last from sundown to sunrise. What the? Party till the sun comes up. This is your leader's order. Just so we're clear, I will not allow any absences. Your attendance at this party is absolutely mandatory. Huh? H hey, now's not the time to talk about stuff like partying. Hm. On the contrary, there is no better time than this. Hmm. But still, we shouldn't. We really shouldn't be partying. Wait! Um, hold on. I agree with Biakia. It doesn't do us any good to stay bummed out like this. Hey! In fact, because of the situation we're in, it's probably best if we all strengthen our friendships, like, with one another. <laughs> that's what you thought too, right? That's what you want, and that's why you want to throw a party. Hmm. It doesn't matter why I'm doing it. Anyway, it is of vital importance that we all stay in one place tonight. You fiend! You say that with such significance. It's all clear now. It's decided we're having ourselves a party. What? It, even so, I'm not sure it needs to last all night. Stop talking. If I thought that, I would have made that clear from the beginning. Oh, I'm sorry! I, I, I'm terribly sorry. I'm so sorry for trying to meddle with your plan. I see. It's important to be flexible in situations like this. Perhaps a diversion from all this is just what we need. Then let's party hard. And in that case, ah, in that case, I'll put my amazing cooking skills on display for you guys. Mm. Where is this? Where is the party going to be held? Would this restaurant be okay? Hmm. No, this won't do. We need a location that's impervious to interference from outsiders. A place even Monokuma can't enter. What we need is an enclosed space. Um. An enclosed space. How pitiful. If the restaurant won't do, then neither will the lobby. That's not nearly enclosed enough. Um. Nor will the cottages. With so many people, we would all be pressed up against each other. Mm-hmm. But if we want to be pressed up against e each other, then a cottage is clearly the best choice. I can't stop drooling. Pressing up against ladies without sneaking aboard the woman-only train is in a in drag. I feel so l lucky. There's really, something man? wrong with you. I can't believe how comfortable you are with saying your perverted thoughts out loud. Yeah, me too, bro. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I may be a pervert, but I'm the kind of pervert everybody likes. <laughs> Your confidence is seriously impressive. Hey! Then how about that old looking building near this hotel? Huh? That rundown place? You're right. Yeah, but if, if we do our best to clean it, I think it'd be perfect. Plus, it's basically the only place that meets our needs for an enclosed space, right? However... Indeed, however, Monomi has forbidden us from entering that old place. As I recall, it's in the middle of being renovated. <laughs> I've heard your conversation, heard it all with my own very own ears. Ahem, I have good ears, because I'm a rabbit. I see. Oh, so you use, so you use your ears. That's strange. Huh? Hmm. Then what is the reason... For your for those surveillance cameras, are they for Monokuma's eyes only? Hello! Ah, she looks so disappointed. That's fine. Well, it's of no concern. We can settle that issue another time. Listen. Regarding that old building, you came to tell us something about it, right? <laughs> yes. If it's to strengthen everyone's bonds with each other, then I will not hesitate to cooperate. I shall allow it. So in that case, I will allow you to enter the old building. I'll cooperate so we can all party together. <laughs> together? That's not gonna happen, because you're so disgusting. Understand? 
Do yourself a favor and stay away from mirrors. They'll all be gro they'll be grossed out by what you see. You'll be grossed out by what you see. Uh, your kind words make me want to cry. Um. Um. So we're all good with that old with the old building. And. Then what about the preparations? If it's in the middle of a renovation, don't we need to clean it first? Yeah. I've never done the dirty work known as cleaning before. I am excited to finally experience it. Hey, hey, hey! No way, there's no way we can dirty our dear princess's hands. Huh? Yeah. I don't want to do it either. Jeez! What? Nobody's gonna do it. Hey! In that case, why don't we decide by random drawing? Random drawing? Actually... To be honest, I already prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. To go to the trouble of preparing this, just what did you think would happen? See? Whoever draws the chopstick with the red mark on it will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? Judgment! Well then, let us entrust our de destinies to the whims of this drawing. Alright! Well, no hard feelings. One by one, everybody took turns pulling the chopsticks Nagito held in his hand. And when it was all said and done... What? Huh? I'm left with the red mark? Haha. <laughs> For someone called the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. Wow. Hmm, I guess it can't all be All right! Helped. Well, if it's just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. <laughs> I thought so. You seem like you'd make a good stay-at-home dad. I'll take that as a compliment. Okay! I'll handle the cooking. Alright, first I need to prepare my ingredients, then I'll start cooking at that at the old building. There's no mistaking it. I, Teroteru Hanamura, will go all out. I will prepare the world's tastiest dishes for all for you all. Then Then I just need to pass along the party details to Fuyuhiko. Let's go about our business then. After Monokuma's nightly announcement, we'll meet at the old building. After everyone left, I decided to go back to the cottage. There's still some time before the party. There's no there's no way I can't I can spend it in bleh. There's still some time before the party. There's no way I can spend it staring into space in my room. Well, since I have some free time, it'd be better if I went and talked to everyone. Yes. Let's see, what's everybody doing? Nice place. Only her in here, huh? That is. How disappointing! I would have liked to try my hand at cleaning. Well. Whoa. Um. Anyway. Why is a princess not allowed to clean? I do not understand at all. What should I do? Should I hang out with Sonia? Yeah. Why not? All right. In that case, I shall do my own cleaning. Come, let us work together. I spent time cleaning her the hotel with Sonia without anyone's permission. I probably don't deserve it, but it looks like Sonia and I grew a little closer. Yeah, skip her present. I have no idea what to give her, but...
Why not? Um. What shall I do with this trash? Um. I must say, this island is a truly wonderful place. Most tight. The weather is calm and the sea is blue, a truly perfect resort setting. That might be true, but... Oh my! Oh, did I say something strange? No, I just was... I was just thinking that you're strangely calm right now. Sonia, are you really not worried about our current situation? I... Of course I'm worried, and I'm also angry. Jeez, this is not something to joke about. Who's joking? However... However, what happens next depends on us. As long as we do not kill anyone, this will all be fine. That's the right attitude, but besides, I have come to here to learn about your country. I would, under I would understand if this were my homeland, but in this case, this land is foreign to me. Well? I do not intend to kill anyone, and I do not intend to be killed easily, either. The way she said that sounded a little dangerous. If this were my homeland, she would be okay in the in your so this would be okay in your country. <laughs> anyway, let us forget about killings and cooperate with one another so we can return home quickly. If you have any good ideas, feel f yeah. Blah, 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 blah. I bit my tongue and now I can't really talk that well. Sorry guys. I'm gonna have to deal with it for a few episodes. If you have any good ideas, ideas, feel free to let me know. I shall also do my best to think of anything, uh, think of something too. Yeah, you're right. When I speak to Sonya, I somehow feel really positive and optimistic. <laughs> it's such an honor. Raise your head, there's no need to worry. What she's saying sounds pretty odd. She certainly looks the part typical of a princess, I guess. Ah, that reminds me. What was the name of your country? As I recall, it was... Novasana Kingdom? Oh my. oh my, that sounds like a pitiful condition where you get too excited and sit in a sauna and ultimately go home without ever using it. Get, get too excited to sit in a sauna, but forget to use it. Looks like I made a mistake. It was the Novoselic Kingdom, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds as though you're f you finally remember. Well, it's not a country I've ever heard of. Yes, that is understandable. It is often overlooked by cartographers. Um. Our Novoselic Novos Kingdom is an extremely small country and governed by an absolute monarchy. Though the population is small, our economy is thriving, so we are not in dire straits at all. For generations, the royal people are protect has the royal family has protected the kingdom and its people from its neighboring countries. Thanks to that, the people still have complete trust toward the royal family. Well, and also wine and chocolate is one of our country's hidden specialties. I see. It do really does sound like a kingdom. So since the princess, since you're a princess of that kingdom, does that mean you live in a castle or something? Yes. Of course, the royal family has been living in the royal castle for over a thousand years. Though it may be old and small, the castle is truly a wonderful historic building. Of course. Of course, it's easy to get lost in our subterranean labyrinth, and our barracks are e are fully equipped as well. So the, the castles really do have those. Um. Um, anyway, is it alright if I ask you something as well? Hmm? If I can answer, that, it, that it's fine. Who did you have your heart set on initially, and who do you intend to switch to later? Huh? This situation is truly similar to the story of the, the story of seven men and women. Whoops. I believe it is a standard tactic to start wavering and swapping partners. Um, hold on, what are you talking about? Huh? Do you really have no idea? It is Japan's legendary drama. Well? It starts off really upbeat and then it gets really serious. I never expected that to happen. It's like, seriously, what is what is going to happen? I just could not take my... Uh, take... Uh, bleh. 
I just could not take my eyes off the screen. Uh. Momoko's feelings at the time were... My goodness, so intense. I continued to listen to Sayaka extensively talk about Japanese dramas. At least now, I totally understand she's a ma major J-drama fanggirl. <laughs> so his report card has been updated, and a hope fragment has been gained. After politely excusing myself from my long conversation with Sonya, I left the area. Still some time left. Feel restless, maybe I should go for a walk. Let's check on the little pet. She beat me. <laughs> Let's see where everybody is. I think I'll go there. I have that tips and tricks guy to give her. Ding dong, ding dong. Who is it? Is this a new game that just came out? I'm pretty sure I'm going to regret playing this, but that's what makes it so much fun. Hmm. Party all night, huh? I fall asleep right away, so it might be impossible for me to stay awake. Yeah, let's hang out. Yep. I should rest up before then. Want to take a nap with me at the beach? Sounds like fun, I guess. I took a nap at the beach with Chiaki. Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer. Yes, definitely, because I do have a gift specifically for her. Hmm, it's a pretty rare item? Isn't that a pretty rare item? Thanks. Hmm, it seems a little... This seems a little... I feel like it might raise, a, raise the flag. She's staring off into space again, as usual. Sorry. Ah, sorry. I was getting a little sleep. While you were standing? Impressive. Have you not been sleeping well? Mm. Hmm. When I'm gaming, I tend to forget about sleeping. Sometimes I forget... I even forget to breathe. I'm a hardcore gamer, but I'm not that hardcore. Damn, girl. No, no, no. That's not good. Plus, I keep having nightmares. I had a bad dream the other day, so I've been a little scared. Can I ask you what dream, kind of dream you had? Well, it was a dream about Trio the Punch. Huh? Um... The statue at Jabberwock Island changed into a bald old man with a thin with a thin mustache. It's probably because that game also takes place on a tropical island. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more this situation feels like that bizarre action game. We might eventually end up turning into sheep. Trio the Punch is a game, right? What kind of game is it? More importantly, you must really enjoy games, huh, Chiaki? Mm. Hmm, how should I put it? It's like... It's... I like it, but gaming is my life. Or maybe life is just a game. But still... Either way, that's all... That's all the more reason why killings shouldn't be allowed. It's not a game if you're not having fun. It doesn't mean anything if you just focus on winning or losing. You're right. It doesn't sound. It doesn't mean games are old, games always have to have happy endings, but you should get something out of beating them. There might be weird games here and there, but there are always. But there are ways of enjoying those too. 
That's why biz biz bleh. That's why bizarre games are fun. You can beat them as long as you do your very best. <laughs> as expected of the ultimate gamer, I would probably just give up on a game like that. Um. But to tell you the truth, there's one type of game that I'm not really good at. I see. What is it? I won't tell you. I, I see. Does he have a reason for not telling me? Is it a visual novel game? Is it called Danganronpa? Well, just by talking to Chiaki, I felt like I was able to understand her a little better. So I guess that's good enough for now. Her report card has been updated, and a hope fragment has been obtained. I parted ways with Chiaki and went back to my room. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! That sure is a mouthful, Monokuma. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Good night, he says. Whatever, I have a party to attend. All right, time to go to the old building by the hotel. My, my. Oh, are you here to for the parte? Why else would I be here? Anyway, what are you doing at a place like this? <laughs> I'm doing a little exercise so I can enjoy all the yummy food we're going to eat. I'm excited to eat Taro Taro's cooking. Yeah, especially since he's the ultimate cook. I let Fuyuhiko uh, know about the party, but he didn't look too pleased about it. <laughs> it's about time for the party. <laughs> I'm really excited. Uh, I'll do my best not to be in the way, so it's fine if I stay here, right? Are you really worrying about something like that? Y yes. Party, really excited. Didn't seem too pleased about it. Alright, well, let's get this party started, shall we? So, this is the old building compared to the hotel. It definitely looks worse for wear. <laughs> You're here. Now then, stand up straight and raise your arms. Why do I have to do that? Hmm. Because I need to do a body check. Body check? Since I'm the one hosting the party, it's necessary for me to take all possible security measures. Listen. I already promised that I wouldn't, would not allow even one person to become a victim. I, I get it. And so I reluctantly raised my arms and stood, stood up straight. Byakuya went ahead and thoroughly searched me, starting with my legs and working his way up. I see. It appears you haven't brought anything dangerous. Uh, of course I haven't. That's fine. Very well, I shall allow you to enter. Hmm? It was at that moment that I noticed a strange item near where Biakia was standing. Metal cases. What? Duralumina. Mm. Duralumin. I found them at the supermarket. This one is used to store any dangerous items I find during body checks. The other one is for, well, let's just say it's for emergencies only. What do you mean, emergencies? Stop talking. Don't worry about it. The others are already here, gathered at the dining hall in the back. Go there and wait. As soon as he said that, Biakia turned his back to me. I guess that's the end of our talk, but he's so cautious I didn't expect him to perform a body check. And what do you mean by emergencies only? That, however, will be the end of this episode. 
If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving it a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more content in the future. And until next time, everybody, have a good one. I'll see you later. Bye.